we're running out in the garden quick right now because uh, we've got our first freeze warning tonight. So we are going to pick uh, a few more tomatoes that are ripe. And I'm going to check any of our peppers here that uh, we may be able to get a couple big ones off of. But I do have some Agrabond that we're going to put on top of these rows. And we're going to cover all these rows up because I've still got... Look, look, we still got lots of really good tomatoes yet to pick. And I, I don't want to waste all these guys. And we've also got some really good peppers in here. We're still going to get a big harvest of uh, peppers yet. But we do have to get past this freeze tonight. And then I think for the next 10 days or so, we should be good. So once we get past that 10 day mark, it might get a little sketchy then. So we'll take a second look at it then. But um, so this is pretty much what we got left in the garden. We've got just our flowers here that uh, we are kind of picking and just enjoying inside. We're not really doing anything with them right now. They're kind of uh, past their peak. But uh, we've got peppers, hot peppers. We got some nice broccoli still here. We got a couple rows of tomatoes that I'm just finishing picking up. Uh, there's a few you know, random um, spots of green tomatoes in here that I'm trying to keep. So uh, the rest of it, basically, this here is a, a row of tomatoes that uh, we planted last. So this row here has actually got a ways to go yet. It was uh, two weeks um, after that we planted um, our first row, of, two rows of tomatoes. So trying to save that row at least. But uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get to picking here quick and then we're gonna throw this agarbon on. I'm gonna show you how we kind of do that here and we're gonna have to stake it down a bit too because if it gets a little windy, uh, even throughout the night, it'll blow right off onto our fence here and we don't wanna do that. So we want to stay over top of our veggies. All right. All right, guys, we got the Agrabond out here, and this is just a just row covering, um, but it'll actually hold the frost off our plants. So what I'm going to do is spread out as much of this on as many plants as I can. I've got a big roll here yet, and uh, Candace has a couple smaller ones here. supposed to be a bad frost, but frost nonetheless. Well, I know it's not fully covered here, but uh, that's going to be about the best that we can get covered up here. I've got another little chunk that I'm going to try to put around some of these peppers over here. Most of the tomatoes, I mean, they're very past their peak. Let me say that. Uh, I was trying to get a few extra off there, but I don't. I'm not really going to be in too big of an issue, but the peppers, I was really still trying to get some peppers off of. So I think uh, this is a I think it's a 10 foot piece of 10 by 50 is what I have here. And it's just a little shy for two rows. It doesn't really cover real well. So I'm gonna take this last piece that I have down here and I'm just gonna put it you know, kind of along the side here. It's like I said, it's not supposed to uh, frost too bad. It's supposed to, I think for around here, they're saying 28 to 30 tonight. So we'll see. Um, I guess, uh, I guess if it frosts, then 
we know that's that for the gardening season. So I do have these staples, guys. See these? These are just the uh, uh, row cover staple or a um, weed barrier staple. So I'm just using these couple spots just to tack it in. Just so it doesn't kind of blow around in the breeze. That's about it. We've had a really good, you know, gardening season really. Uh, harvested a lot. The garden expansion did fantabulous. So we're uh, super grateful for that. And we're looking forward to all the things that we can plant next year already. Candace already got a list for me. So, you know how that goes. So I'm just throwing a couple, a couple stakes in there. And I actually, what I might do is put a stake like in the middle here, which put it in and I can put a piece of string. I got a uh, Baylor's twine and I can just pull a piece of string down to it. Just so it doesn't, you know, catch a, a wind gust or anything. So, all right. Well, that job's taken care of. All right, we were able to get our agribon on our tomatoes down here, our peppers in the middle of the garden. And then I had one little extra piece that we put on down on the dahlias. So I just wanted to see if she could save a few more dahlias for the rest of the year. So that's about it. I'm gonna, you know, we didn't really do a whole lot of garden tours this year like we have in the past, but uh, I don't know. I guess I don't know why I didn't do more garden tours. It seemed like you guys didn't really care to watch them. So I wasn't really getting a whole lot of feedback on them. You know, if you guys do like this type of video, more of a vlog video or something, uh, let me know down in the comments. Uh, I'm willing to do more of them. It just, uh, it seems like our channel, for whatever reason, doesn't really bode well for a vlog style video. But if that's what you guys want to see, you know, me and Candace will definitely make some more. So. But uh, I appreciate you guys watching this, and uh, I will put an update uh, tomorrow up, and we'll see how this did, if it worked, if it kept the frost off, if it even frosted, because you know how the meteorologists are these days. Sometimes you know, they're a little bit off on their forecasts, and uh, sometimes they're right on. So we'll see. We'll, uh, I'll post tomorrow, and we'll see how this goes. So you guys, thanks again. Thanks for watching. Thanks for following along, and we'll catch you on the next one.